Hello and welcome back to our playthrough of Close to the Sun. We are on chapter 6 today, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. It's been about a week since I played this, I'm going to be honest. I'm pretty sure we're on chapter 6. Last I remember, spoiler alert if you haven't seen the other chapters, um, our sister died. And in the following chapter, we had to navigate our way through uh, an electrical storm, I guess is the best way of putting it, in one of the rooms from Nikolai Tesla's failing experiments. Um, and then the ship caught fire, so we had to navigate our way through that as well, which I believe was fire starter for the next one. Um, we'll carry on with our playthrough now. I'm just going to hit continue just because I realise that sometimes it does actually take me to load. But whilst this is loading, obviously I'm going to say do the usual things, like, subscribe, follow, comment on the video, not follow, follow the Twitch thing, comment on the video because... It does help our stats and analytics. If you want to, you don't have to, of course. But if you comment, I will promise to reply to every single comment that is put on the video. We are going to carry on with chapter six. I want to see what this Aubrey guy is about because I'm doing something first for my sister, her dying wish, and then we've got to go and save Aubrey. But I still have a feeling he's going to betray us. Um, I don't know how, but I just have a feeling he's going to betray us. I did just hear my Discord ping. I'm just going to check to make sure that you guys can't actually hear it. You can hear it because my system audio has done something weird. So I'm just going to quickly go ahead and change that to come out of my voice settings. Boom, boom, boom. And now hopefully you can't hear it. So we're just going to crack on. I should really close Discord when I do this, to be honest, but too lazy because then you got to reopen it and ugh. let's carry on. Any idea where this notebook might be hidden? It's a fairly large theater, you know? Afraid not. But how big can it be, really? Hopefully the game audio is okay. In the last video I did realize it was a little bit oh. crackly for some reason. I'm not sure why. That's so, just the um, I've now separated the audio tracks so I can play with them as and when I, I need to. You to search while I resolve some issues we'll only find out once the recording's done, I guess. I'll uh, check in with you later, all right? Sure. This might take a while. This might take a while indeed. I am going to change the layout of our videos because I've realised now, as much as cool as I thought it looked when I originally set it up, this widescreen setup is just not working for me. So I've got another idea in mind, but I'm just going to keep it like this for all of our Close to the Sun playthroughs. I am terribly sorry that Tower Upgrades demanded my attention far longer than I anticipated. I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all, sir. I'm still learning how to best get around here on the hill. So uh, because I wanted to so be to consistent. Like so oh, this is like a theatre place. I wonder what kind of shows they had on here. Look at that. This looks like the scene in Liza P with the, the singing woman in the movie. Is the Helios Grand Wow. I'm glad you like it. We have a wonderful. And this is all. Don't forget. Oh no, shit. And if you look closely. Like people don't realize how big cruise ships are. Obviously, this is a game, and the ship's bigger than usual ships and stuff. But the balcony used to be my own, but I insist you take it. When I first went on a cruise, and as talking about honestly, the ships are freaking massive. They're almost like small cities, just. I don't know what to say, sir. On the river. Oh, it is the least I can do, and please don't me. Thank you. But what will people? I can jump, right? Yeah, but I just can't climb over. Me? Sitting in your balcony? It's not mine. Not anymore. And people will always gossip. It interests me. Come now, let me show you the three opera singers together. Of course. On the helium. To my... What does that say? A to my greatest balcony. fan, Thomas. Would you hide Be your well. research there, Ada? I want to go down there. You suck, game. Unless I'm missing something. I don't see any like doors or anything like that. I don't think there's anything else for me to do in here. That was just more for the spectacle to show off the aesthetic, I guess. Can't go up there. Can't go up there, right? No doors, no doors. There's definitely debris blocking the way. Can I go down one of these stairs? Conveniently, I cannot. Surely it's not the roll station. What is my current quest actually? Reach Ada's private balcony. I just climb over the debris, it's not difficult. I wish she ran faster. I really do. Because I came through in that lift, so nothing behind me. 
I'm having a numpty moment again, aren't I? Where I'll probably miss something and this is just adding unwanted minutes to the video. Let's see if there's anything behind the bar. I think it's going to let me go there. It is. Oh, it's one of those things again. I don't really know what to do with those. I'm guessing that's just like achievement hunting stuff. It has to be something I missed in that theatre room. That's the natural progression, the natural way to go forward, especially if the staircase down is blocked. And the staircase up is blocked as well, right? Let me just double check. I can't sneak past, can't be sneaky. Nope. Because what it's going to do is take me up there where there's nowhere else to go anyway. So it has to be in here. Maybe Dick. Huh. Dick. This way, perhaps? No, look, that's all blocked off. I definitely can't jump over it. <laughs> that's blocked off. That's where I picked up the thing, and guess what? It's blocked off. Where is her private balcony is the question. Those balconies. Wait, can I? Oh, wait, that was a tunnel. Oh, wait, there's stairs right there. Which twat. <laughs> Told you. Numpty. Just missed stuff. The game is actually, like, really linear, but sometimes I just miss things. Uh, if my voice does sound a little bit more hoarse than it usually does. Uh, I went out drinking yesterday. I went to meet one of my friends, Captain Nick. And I wasn't hung over or anything, but when you drink, or at least for me anyway, normally the day after your voice is just really hoarse and it's really deep. I, I fancied playing this because, for two reasons really, I've only got one more episode left to upload before I run out of episodes, so I need to get the, the, the grind going. But also, I kind of want to know what happens. I'm actually interested in the story a little bit. I'm not reading, like, the lore and stuff. But I just want to know what this guy's deal is, Aubrey. Oh, my sister's dead. I came here... I came here to, to get my sister. She's now dead. So, my original mission is, has been skewed a little bit. From there, it was merely a matter of building. But enough about me. What about you, Aiden? What about your family? You had a sister. Yes, I don't know. That's my name. If you take out the OV and the P at the beginning. Wait till you meet my sister. <laughs> what does she do? What does she do? She's a journalist. Is that so? Is she a journalist? The best. Again, there's not really a lot that can happen in this game that kills you, just in case anyone's wondering. There was a scene in one of our previous episodes that I had to run away from this knife-wielding maniac. Now, that was the only thing that could have possibly killed me. No, there was one more, sorry, but... You don't get weapons like you do in Bioshock or anything, even though it just looks very Bioshocky. So it's more, what was she doing? What was she doing? <laughs> was that supposed to happen? I don't think that was supposed to happen. I did not press right there. That was weird. <laughs> I'll be honest. I assumed it was just a straight line and you couldn't fall off. What the fuck? So confused. She's got the weirdest scream. Uh, uh, no. Do I like press forward slowly? Uh, uh. She went too far left then. That sound was too far up. Right. Maybe when I hear the like doom, I just kind of stop walking because then I need to get my balance back. <laughs> that was such a weird puzzle slash scene to go through. It was unnecessary. We don't have a death counter. Didn't think I needed one to be honest, but ah, here we are. I do hope it will provide you with much joy while aboard the Helios. 
Ada Hotcher. I really cannot thank you enough. Nonsense, my dear. Just continue to pursue your dear and titties. That will be gratitude plenty. I, I, I truly believe you are onto something revolutionary, Ada. It's just missing that final spark. I hope the Helios will provide the resources required for us to find it. Because when we do, we will have changed the world forever. Forever. To changing the world. To changing the world. Search Ada's balcony for her research. I will do that in just a sec. And that second is back. I had to just quickly make a, a cheeky little edit there because I needed to do something on my on my second screen. All right, I need to find a research apparently. Says so can't be that far. There we go. Not here. Oh, maybe not. Not here. Can't be that far. This is like the smallest. Come on. There's 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 a secret room in my room. You find it while I make my way through another laboratory department. I'll give you a clue. Use the cordless theater to guest elevator stage. in the private area. Th that's it. You're just going to leave me to figure this out on my own? Have fun. I mean, there was a lift to the right. I say Center lift. Stage. Holy shit. Ada, I hear you. I am British. So to me, this is a lift, not an elevator. Even though the game said elevator. The game's wrong. Uh, get your season ticket to the Helios Grand Theatre. Contact your assigned recreation officer for season programs and prices. I'm going to stand here because this is going to be the thumbnail to the video. So if I just do this, that way I'll take a screenshot of it after the fact and we'll crack on. Because we are going to the theatre now. So this one so far, in my opinion, is all about the theatre district. So no one mourns the wicked, right? No good deed goes unpunished. The radio played our conversation from the past, but it's like she's still here, leading me onwards. Orden Cliff. I'd love to go on one of these. I want to go on a cruise again. The first one I went on, and the only one so far, was amazing. People think it's all full of old people and stuff. It's really not. It's so big, honestly. You can't, I can't like explain how big it is. You just need to experience it for yourself to understand how big cruise ships actually are. I didn't realize that submarines right. were massive until Center the other stage. day. How do I get up there? Submarines are huge. I thought they were like tiny little things, like the size of maybe like a couple of double decker buses. Now, mate. How do I get up there? There's a staircase right there, but can I play the piano? The Great Fabriere. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. I'm gonna bang those drums, I'll be honest. Center stage. Pick up the sword. Okay. Even if it's fate. Was super secret research. Legit underneath the stage. That's hardly hidden. That was the worst hiding place. Handles sticking out and everything. Does it mention what time this game was set? Like, what year? Oh shit! Bed! Run! Run! Do you remember me, god. Rose? Do you remember what you did? Oh my I god, this is what I was talking about earlier about the running scene. That's the guy with the knife chasing me. Come back. Just go. Revolt. Where did he go? He's gonna be in front of me, that's where he went. I don't trust it, he's just gonna appear. Fully well, like her. What's all this blood? Is this him? Right on the blood. Oh, 
shit, he's there. Wait, is that him? Or is that like a dummy of him? No, I don't like looking at him. I don't like looking at him. I'm not a horror person. I don't like horror games. I didn't expect this to have like little jump scares and stuff. Not the worst. But cheap jump scares to me. That, what was the point of that? that? There was no need for that. It didn't get me luckily, but things like that, it's just, that's not scary. That's just jolting. I want to be scared psychologically. Something that I think about after the game's finished. Not, oh, I just got scared in the moment. But whatever. If anyone has any recommendations on games that I could play that I like psychological horrors, comment. Let me know. Maybe we'll play it uh, for YouTube. I'm not going to promise anything because obviously if I have to buy stuff, I will try to if it's not too expensive. Yes. Yeah, so I'm assuming it was this way. The other way could have been a better. Oh, what? How did he catch me? I couldn't have gone any faster. Oh my god. You better hope I don't have any like STDs or something because if that blood gets in his mouth. Unless I'm not supposed to go that way, I'm supposed to go straight. I'm going to try it again. That took way too long for me to to jump over that box. To be honest. Make your peace. Our collective suffering ends today. Going that way. It's fucking fire. Oh, come on. Am I dead? No. Okay, so that was supposed to happen. Good. God, who's that? Is that Aubrey? <coughs> what did you do? Oh. He was screaming. <coughs> Rose. Yeah. Rose. Is that you? You sound terrible. Carmen. Aubrey, where the hell have you been? I could have used you like five minutes ago. Found the notebook, didn't you? I bet you did! Right? Right? Yes, Aubrey. I got the notebook. And then I ran into Ludwig. Oh no. Are you okay? I'm fine, Aubrey, and thankfully Ludwig took a face full of fire, so that's one problem that's less. Him screaming. Wow! One piece of great news after another. What's next? The bad news? I'm lost. I, I think there's an elevator. Anything yet? Oh no, nothing. Wait, now, Aubrey, now! Sentence. Oh, that's deck sixty-six. Next order of business: getting you that elevator. Fantastic, Aubrey. Well, like I went too Thank far you ahead. again for everything. He just stopped talking. I'm coming to make good on my promise. You have no idea how good that out there. sounds. Uh, wait, let me get the doors. Yeah. Very dark. What is oh, that? God damn it! What's wrong? There's. Oh my God. Ugh, gross. There's the body of a man crucified I mean... against the elevator wall. Is there a different elevator you can send up? Everyone's got I'd their kinks, not. right? But... It's, it's the only one. It's the only one, Rose. I hate this place. I hate this place so much. I would... I'm not going to say what I'm going to say. I'm not going to say what I was going to say, because... One thorn <laughs> out. Let's keep it family friendly as much Thanks as we can, right? This, Rose. Yeah. I don't trust him. I'm pretty sure he's dead, but... And that is potentially 
the end of chapter six. There we go. What was that? They're getting shorter and shorter. 20 minutes. I mean, I say shorter and shorter. It's longer than the other one. But 20 minutes is a decent time. So if that is the end of chapter six, we'll call it there. Thank you all for stopping in. As always, the fact if you're still watching this series and you've been following my playthrough of it, you guys are fucking awesome. You know, right? I'm talking to you specifically. You that have stayed here and watched all of our playthrough of this video. Thank you so much for being here we will cut the video short now and then carry on with chapter seven i'm just going to carry on because i'm enjoying it so we'll make it into another part the strife of eris apparently um usual things comment subscribe share to be honest turn the notifications on if you want to know when the next one's going to be uploaded i'm trying to do it roughly every three days one one day or two each way and we'll see what happens so let's crack on with the next chapter after this one thank you for stopping in we'll see you on the next one ciao ciao